Hey guys, welcome to another one of my recap. Yeah, I just wanted to change it up a bit because I'm always like sitting here, just not hardly moving around. I don't know if you guys liked it or not, or yeah, I don't know, that was random. Anyway, I'm gonna roll my intro right now. It is time for another one of my Pretty Liars recap and review time. Taking this one to the grave. If I show you, then I know you won't tell what I said. Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is. Hello, guys. I'm Ashley. If this is your first time watching a recap from me, I do Pretty Liar recap and reviews weekly and i post them every wednesday like the day after each episode because it takes me a while to edit these but yeah hope you enjoy it and this is my recap for pretty little liar season 4 episode 2 turn of the shoe and it was really good i mean it really kept me like interested i mean all of them do but i mean this one like was really intense i say that all the time but it was really good um, so I'm gonna just get to it and go so in the beginning Mona wants to show the four girls the RV they realize it's not there and the girls don't believe her that A took it they think that she's playing a trick on them so then they go to their car uh, Spencer and Hannah they go in their own car and they drive away and Mona goes in her car and so Emma's like wait let's wait Mona goes in her car and someone in a mask pops up from the back seat and starts like choking her and she's coughing coughing and then she finally reaches a flashlight in the passenger seat and then she hits that person and she just rolls up flies out of the car and so Arya and Emily help her up and like oh my gosh are you okay because she's like coughing and trying to gasp for air that was really scary whoever that was that was really creepy they get her up and, I, and then you see the car driving that person driving away with Mona's car and they that person tries to run over them and so they go on the side and emily hits her shoulder like around here on this huge rock that was on the road and she like winces in pain and then she ends up getting like this huge bruise on her shoulder which affects her later in the episode hannah's mom in this episode she was hella suspicious I even began she was really creepy in this episode you can't even trust anyone but the four girls like everyone else even like the parents now they're like seeming suspicious unless they're just trying to make her suspicious anyway she was supposedly in new york that whole time when wilden went missing and all of that right she was supposedly the whole time in new york hannah finds high heels underneath the sink in a bag like these dirty high heels and she's wondering you know why why did the mom want to throw those out and when she confronted the mom she was like they're just shoes and don't ask me when you can't even put away your own clothes and she was just like mad like she didn't want to talk about it and she was just trying to change the subject so yeah it was suspicious also Ali's mom was in this episode again and she saw Hannah. She had a bird on her porch named Tippy, this talking bird who kept just talking and was with Ali that summer that she went missing. She was just talking to her mom outside and you could see like someone was watching them from like the blinds inside, which was really creepy because someone else is in that house. Maybe it's Ali. Maybe it's Courtney, their twin. We don't know. But someone was definitely watching and creeping up on them. And she flashbacks to this moment where they're outside sitting down. Her and Ali. Ali's mom and Ali are sitting down. Ali's begging the mom if she can have a sleepover at Cape May. But the mom doesn't want a sleepover there because it's too far away. And she doesn't trust them there being alone. And so she just has this weird stare. Like this angry stare. And... The mom gets really mad and she's like, don't do this here. And she just keeps staring at the mom. And finally the mom just gives in and just says, okay, you can have your sleep over there. Back into reality and Hannah says she never invited them to Cape May. And the mother realized that later because she found beer bottles and she suspected she went to Cape May with 
an older guy. Also, Arya has this new love interest, which is her instructor, her self-defense instructor, because she wants to learn self-defense for, I guess, in case A attacks her or someone attacks her, which is good to know, you know? And so it's this guy named Jake, and at first she didn't trust him because she just broke up with Ezra, and um, yeah, she just, then they started going more into the lesson, and, and then she just randomly leaned in to kiss him, and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, so she just ran out, and she has no idea why she did that. And while she's going home, she sees Mona talking to the cops about something, and so she pulls over, and she calls Mona it's like Mona you were late for the thing and so Mona goes in her car and they start talking about how Mona found out from the police that they where they found Wilden's body it was at a beach and where his footprints there were two footprints there were his footprints and a woman's footprints which were high heels makes you think now because Hannah's mom with hiding the high heels under the sink and they were like dirty sandy high heels so either she killed Wilden or she's hiding it like she's protecting someone who she knows that killed Wilden and so Arya tells Spencer and Hannah all of that and Hannah's worried because she saw the high heels and but Spencer and Arya don't know about how she found the high heels they don't know anything about that so they're like don't worry your mom was in New York the whole time so she's not guilty of that and she's like oh yeah but and so Hannah confronts her mom later in the episode if she was in New York the whole time and she's like if this is you asking if I killed Wilden I didn't but I don't know if I should trust her or not because I don't know Ashley Marin has like this creepy vibe to her like I don't know she just seems suspicious but this show makes everyone seem suspicious so I don't really know it got me thinking though what if it was a guy in high heels like you don't know you know what I mean like what if it was like this is totally off, like, out of proportion, but what if it was, like, Pastor Ted or someone that, like, killed, that killed Wilden, but was in high heels? <laughs> I don't even know, that's weird. Okay, I don't know what I'm thinking. But it's either Hannah's mom killed Wilden, or it was someone else there, and she's just hiding the high heels for someone. But either way, that makes her guilty. Emily, so back to Emily, she has, like, the pain in her shoulder, a huge bruise, and... She doesn't want to tell Paige because she doesn't want Paige to get worried about her and her safety. And they ha she has a swim meet the next day, which Paige doesn't know. She's worried for Emily if she can do the swim meet because it's for a Stanford application thing. Like, Paige already got accepted and Emily wants to get that last spot. But also, who else is competing for that spot is Shauna. And she's just... I don't find her that creepy. She just like she's one of those mean people like Jenna, like evil. Anna like at, before the swim meet, she's like, threatening Emily that that's her spot and all of that. And Emily takes like these pain medications which she shouldn't have because it was making her dizzy while she was doing the swim meet. She was swimming and like like, like she was all dizzy and started seeing things and she hit her head when she reached the other side of the pool and then she started bleeding and they pulled her out of the pool and later on in the episode she tells Paige why uh, t tells her the whole story and why she kept it a secret from her that whole time and it was just a nice scene I mean I love that couple since Caleb's not like present and I heard Caleb is like moving to Ravenswood like right now Paley is like my favorite couple right now like they're so adorable together like how can you not like them you know also, Spencer gets denied for UPenn, University of Pennsylvania, which is like a high school, like a like a really good school that she was trying to get in this whole time, but she got a letter that she's denied. And so she started breaking down when she told Ezra, because she didn't tell the other girls, she didn't tell her parents, no one. She only told Ezra. And so Ezra told her that he would help her with her letter and getting into other colleges so then they show them in the classroom just them two he reads over her letter assignment that she wrote in to get in a college and he started telling her like she shouldn't put so much information because it might lessen her chances of getting in 
and she got really mad and disturbed and she started yelling and how that that's her own experience that her best friend got murdered and how she had a mental breakdown and got into Radley but but he said that wasn't good that she shouldn't put all of those personal things in but she was just getting mad Toby later admits that he's the one that moved the RV because a if he moved the RV a would uh, would give him something which was like these notes that explained what happened to his mom and he showed it to Spencer and Spencer well the well we find out that the mom killed herself which is really sad and Spencer starts reading off like all these notes and stuff about his mom and he starts crying and he says like he wants to find out more what happened and all and more about his mom like I'm still kind of confused they don't really give much about the mom I mean I don't know I'm just confused about him and his mom and all that. I guess we'll find that out later. And then so closer to the ending, the bird named Tippy, which was Allison's bird, he he kept singing this one random song like a do 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 do. I don't know how it went, but I for, I kind of forget how it went. But he kept singing that random song and they left it at Spencer's house and Spencer was going crazy over that bird like she's like Hannah pick up this bird I'm going crazy and um, while well, she was dialing her number and the bird kept singing that song she realized that he was actually mimicking a, a phone number so so Hannah and Arya come over and and then they dial that number it keeps on ringing and no one answers so they're not sure if that was the right number so so Arya is about to record him singing that that number into her phone when they go into her, her kitchen her dining room wherever where the bird was the bird's gone and I kind of had that feeling like oh the bird's totally gonna be gone you're dead I was thinking and yeah it's gone and then they look out and someone opened broke in Spencer's window and stole the bird towards the end we, sh we see Ashley Marin drinking a glass of wine looking really creepy and she takes the shoes in a that, that was in the bag and she wraps them in newspaper and she throws it in a garbage bag and you can see someone watching her from outside like by the window and um, when she's about to turn on the light outside it just blacks out she just walks out and that was the end but then that ending a scene is you see a in the lair like with the black gloves and stuff cutting chicken and you think that's tippy but then no they they're feeding tippy chicken like who who feeds a pet bird chicken like what the heck? this episode was really good i mean what do you think do you think hannah's mom is on the a team or do you think that she's helping someone cover up their tracks or because this plan is gonna backfire i'm sure someone is was either filming her doing that just this is gonna backfire on her if, even if she's just hiding it for someone it, it's just gonna just backfire because this, that's how the show works i can't wait for the next episode and yeah see you guys next week so bye